Hello nurses! Welcome back to Nurse Talk. I'm your host, Daniel Talavera. And do you guys have um, an idea about correctional nursing? A correctional nurse cares and treats for inmates in other and other detainees in correctional facilities and jails. I think it's a really, really cool job and I know a lot of nurses are intrigued about it. So in this episode, we have um, Nurse Jasmine who is also a nurse content creator here in YouTube and has been doing correctional nursing for quite a while now. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, she is also a support residential nurse who oversees group homes and adults with developmental disabilities. Um, everyone, please welcome Nurse Jasmine Hernandez from Massachusetts. Jasmine, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Hey Jazz, how are you? Okay, I'm naka-diva ko now. <laughs> Pero not you in the kasi I have to do a lot of things. Alam mo na. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Grabe ah. Thank you for guesting to the show. I watched your content even nung hindi pa nakakapasa ng NCLEX and somehow no parang you make life in America easy and masaya. Yeah, at yeah, right now kasi siguro nakapag-adjust na ako but before before when I first came here, my husband would tell me I would cry. I would I would beg him. <laughs> Maybe it's it's because I I came from the Philippines. Na nagu work ako. I have my own career. I I work I worked there in the Philippines uh, sa Accenture. So as an IT, so I was there for two and a half years, and I love what I'm doing. So coming back, coming from there, where I have a lot of friends, I go out like three times a week with my friends, hang out, and then going here na. You don't have anyone. It's just me and my husband. And hindi pa ako makalabas kasi I'm not working. I'm just always at home. I was miserable though. <laughs> so it wasn't like all like glory and happy and when I first came here. But now I was I I adjusted and then yeah now it's better. Alam mo ba, sa, sa lahat ng mga Pinay and Pinoy nurse content creators, sa lahat ng mga napanood ko na sa YouTube, parang ikaw lang ang nag-mention ng prison or correctional nursing eh. And since then, that got me wondering, no, kung ano ba yung buhay ng isang um, correctional nurse? Yeah, yeah, it's it's very challenging. Not, not, not just physically, but mentally. Because you are dealing with people who is very manipulative. <laughs> Wow, they're, excited now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are very, very manipulative. They will talk to you. And then I think, yeah, you know, I am very challenged in working uh, there as a prisoner. You have to you have to be firm. You have to stick with the rule. Kung ano yung sinab. It's it's very hard because you know, as nurses, we have we have our like judgment. We know that's where uh new natutunan natin sa school we know when to call a call sasabi, you you've learned at school kung kailan ka you need someone like help like a doctor you've learned kung kailan when if you're not working at the hospital setting you you know when to send them out in prisoners you can't just do that <laughs> as a prisoner you can't just do that like send you think someone is like hindi mo pwedeng i know without you know they, you, how, how would I put it into words? You have to have specific, um, I, I don't know how to put it in words, like, gui- not guidelines, like specific um, reasons why you, ha- why you have to send someone out. So yeah, that's one of the challenge, like uh, mentally, you not manipulative, a lot of them manipulative, they will ask you for things. And then you won't believe like a lot of like nurses give into that. Wow. Bringing in some um, some things that dapat hindi nila dalhin <laughs> and giving to the inmates. So ganang ganon. Wow. Okay. Grabe. <laughs> Teka. Let's start muna, no. Um, Nurse Jasmine. Para I wanna know. Um, when did you arrive in the states and bakit ka nag nursing? So ano? Dumating kami dito balay 2011 because of my husband. Kasi um IT siya, so he's working uh, with a company. Kasi pinadala siya dito. And then actually magboyfriend. Oh, magboyfriend palang kami nun. And then he came back to the Philippines at pakasal kami. And then luckily maganda yung company niya, so they sponsored me going here. So yes. Um and then bakit ako nag nursing? Typical, typical Filipino um nurse story. <laughs> I know, I know. Alam mo na ako sa nakaka-aware where I'm going. So, 
yun, my family, my mom, specifically, I'm a, um, talked me into being a nurse. And then it's basically, um, I'm going to be a nurse or I'm not going to go to college. <laughs> so I chose, syempre, <laughs> going to college. Yeah. But I'm happy. And daming makaka-relate sa ganun na. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I would go to an interview, they would ask, me, "Why did you become a nurse?" And I was like, "That wasn't really my first option. That was really that wasn't really my passion way, way back there. My passion was going to business um school. I was ready for kasi I'm diba may, I'm not sure if you've heard, merong mga um working student you would go um work sa Jollibee while working as a like yeah uh, as a BSBA or something like that 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 is what I was eyeing for before when I was um in high school but then again I love you na mom's knows best so <laughs> pero wait kanina um na mention mo nag work ka rin diba as an IT so yung nursing mm-hmm. saan ka nag-aral Philippines nag-aral. or yeah yeah sa Philippines so graduate talaga ako ng uh, sa um Arellano sa Pasay mm. So nag-graduate ako noong 2009 right after I graduated I took the board and of course I didn't pass um as many of you know kung napanood niyo na yung video ko uh, I didn't pass and then right after co- I after that I was like I, I'm going to do whatever I want so mag apply ako wherever I want and it was yeah I've, it was always been my dream to uh to work in an office like you know like wearing those like cute clothes where you will uh, <laughs> <laughs> na high heels ka, naka skirt ka, naka office ko. That was my dream before. So after that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pursue what uh my dream, like working in an office. So I've been there for two and a half years, and I was very, very lucky to be um to start working uh to work with that company. Because ah, uh, lahat ng kasama ko, they're very, very nice. I've learned a lot. You know, coming from nursing to IT, I didn't know anything, but they they trained me. I trained me very well. Wow. And then, syempre sa states ka na nag um, NCLEX, no? Doon ka na mm-hmm. nag-process. So, yeah, yeah. So, what what happened was, so, like, doon ko kasi na-meet yung husband ko. Doon, and, um, I met him at that company. And then, when we moved here, nobody would hire me. <laughs> no, so, nag, nag-apply ako sa mga IT jobs. I I, I applied for years. I, I sent, like, a hundred I not even thousand like applications sa mga ano dito sa IT company kasi I have the experience although I don't have the degree kasi iniisip ko since I already have experience with a big company they might hire me but no <laughs> no one would hire me and I would get this odd job so I had like odd jobs at the side nagwork ako sa fast food chain as a um, supervisor nagwork din ako sa theater nagwork as ako nagwork ako dito as a cashier kasi I would take any job just to earn money and just alam mo yun kasi malungkot ka eh. I'm only by myself um nasa bahay lang lagi might as well go out kahit anong work na ba so yun nagwork ako doon and then nagwork din ako Amazon as meron kasi dito yung alam niyo yun yung mga um, mga nag Uh, online shopping so mag online grocery so ako yung mag grocery for them and then yung Amazon yung sila yung mag deliver so ganun yung mga nag nag work din ako noon sabi since hindi na ako mahar i said might as well um try to take endlex kasi mm. may nakapagsabi sa akin or may nakapagsabi sa akin hindi mo na, may nagsabi na hindi mo naman pala kailangan pumasa ng uh ng endlex ng Philippine board exam para makapag So I I was like might as well try. That's right. Grabe. Ang dami mong ano, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> You've tried them all. Yes, I've tried it all. Hindi ako naging mapili dito kasi I was like what, what I'm going uh, parang iniisip ko, yes, I would kung magmamataas ka na, you have a degree, you're not going to work in a cash, as a cashier or what not. Like, where would that take me? That's why. <laughs> And Jasmine How did you get involved sa correctional nursing? And um, meron bang mga specific qualifications to get that kind of job? Wala. <laughs> so, I got there because pumasa ako ng board ng FEB. Pumasa ako ng board ng FEB. Um, and then yung license ko nasa New York pa. So, mm. eh, wala akong work noon. Sabi ko, kahit ano, ah, 
right after, actually before pa ako mag-take ng NTEC, sabi ko sa sarili ko, I would take any job that would hire me. Because it's gonna be a blessing kasi who would take someone who, <laughs> like, <laughs> diba, you graduated like 10 years ago. Like, let's be honest, there's a lot of people that just graduated, they have like the experience, they have everything. Who would take me? I graduated 10 years ago from a foreign country, right? <laughs> I graduated from a foreign country, so I was, I was willing to take anything and everything. So, um, like, play ako at first hindi ko nga alam na <laughs> correctional nursing pala yung papasok mm. ako. Yeah. I didn't have any idea. I just pumunta lang ako sa indeed.com submit, submit, submit. Lahat ng graduate. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a long term, if it's a hospital, it doesn't matter if they were asking for like a two years express. I don't care. I just pass. I just submit na my resume to anywhere, any, anyone. So that's what happened and then ayun nga, um, I think Mark Nag, nakapasa ko ng Feb, March, nag, nagpapalipad na ako ng, ng resume ko kahit wala pa akong license dito sa Massachusetts. Kasi it's, it takes time may yung reciprocity from New York. Kasi mm. since New York nga ako license, um, nag-process agad ako ng reciprocity but um, I had to wait kasi dumaan pa siya sa CJFNS. Um, yun. And then, nag, and then, I'm like going circles. Nag, nag-apply ako ng March and then nag, nagpapasa ako ng resume. By the end of the March, I think, naka-receive ako ng mga phone calls na asking about my experience. Some, um, sabi nung nalaman nila, oh, okay, wala ka palang experience and then 10 years can graduate. I'm sorry, but we can't hire you. And then there was two company, um, one in long-term care and then one in correctional. Yun nga, itong correctional na they went back to me. And then sa long-term care, I, I don't know, this is just a facility I got scared. <laughs> I don't know. There's something, you know, para there's something in my class that tell me no. So, mm. the, um, so sabi ko, okay, I'll get back to you. Oh, di ba, kala mo, ano, my experience, ano, I'll get back to you. Kala mo, feeling mo. <laughs> yeah, para mamili ko pa, di ba? So, sabi ko sa kanila, I'll get back to you. And then, the week after, I got this interview sa, cor- sa correctional. So, I researched the, before, siguro mga week, uh, no, after nila akong tawaga, I researched about the company. And then, ko nga nalaman na, ay, correctional nurse pa lang papasukan ko ano ba to <laughs> pero i went um, actually my husband was um opposing at first sabi niya bakit ka pupunta doon hindi ba nakakatakot yeah yun yung una niya sinabi but i was like you know what let me let me just try kasi ano lang naman eh um interview lang naman ganyan ganyan Tsaka may ano may, may minsan may mga incentive sila dito pag um iinterviewin ka para meron atang 25 dollars na gift card pag sa pumunta ka sa interview <laughs> yung ganun lang sila so Ayun, so sabi ko, pumunta nga ako, and then na yun, sa awan ng Diyos, nakapasa. Um, and then they they asked me to go back. And then, doon na ang interview ko na is a regional, I forgot your title, parang sa regional, ano, uh, basta nursing. Uh, yun, tas pinapunta nila ako dun sa site. Sabi nila, why don't you visit the site to feel like if this is really something for you? Mm-hmm. Because this is, yun nga, um, it's very... Um, different environment, different environment. So, pumunta ako doon, and the first time I went there, you're gonna, you get, you'll get scared because it's a very different. <laughs> yeah. The doors won't, you know, the doors won't open by itself. Hindi ka pwede mag-budge. Someone will open it for you, yeah. Uh, someone will open it for you. You can bring in phone, you can, um, the bag na kailangan mong dalhin, it should be transparent, everything na kailangan mong dalhin should be, there's guidelines, what what are the things you can you can bring. So, ganon. So, in-interview nila ako doon, and, and, and my, my, my experience is very pleasant, yung, um, yung, nag-inter- yung interviewer sa akin, she said she worked with some of like the Filipino nurses before, kasi alam niyo na yun, when there was a boom, sabi niya, I've trained, uh, I was trained by a Filipino nurse, and I was so happy the way you guys work, you're very hard worker, and ganyan, ganyan. and then, ayun, na, nagustuhan niya ako, sabi niya, well, if you're, um, if you would like, we would like to offer you the position for full-time, ganyan, ganyan, and then sabi ko, yeah, it's, it's, um, um, the sabi niya pa sa, the one thing na nagustuhan ko pa sa kanila is sabi niya well even if you don't have license yet and you can practice here sabi nila we, we will hire you sabi niya you uh, but the, yun nga lang yung ask 
of course, the rate won't be uh, a rate mm. as an RN kasi nga wala pa akong license. But then again, sabi niya, pwede ka nang mag-observe and then at least you, 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 you feel what it's like working here. Sabi niya, parang without the responsibility yet. Grabe, yun agad yung first job mo, no? As a yeah, nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, ayun. Okay naman. Um, so, ayun. Nag- nag-work ako sa kanila from April and then nakawa ko yung license ko. Alam ba? Mga, ano na? Mga July na ata. July ko na oh. nakuha. Yeah, so, medyo, which is, I was very thankful for na wala akong lisensya noon kasi if I had one, I'm pretty sure they're gonna throw me in there. Like, yeah. Like, okay, you're gonna be by yourself and you're gonna be the um, <laughs> okay, like, but, um yeah, you're gonna be in charge. You're gonna be charge nurse. Kasi ang ang work nila don um pag ikaw yung triage nurse, ikaw yung parang charge nurse. Ikaw kasi yung mag uh, mag respond sa mga code. Wow. So um paano yun? parang mainly ano yung ginagawa ng isang correctional nurse and how do you handle the inmates? Yeah, so the typical day for us is um as a charge nurse so let's talk about charge so charge nurse um typical day you're going to the duty meron coming um um observation observation um unit so meron coming um about six six cells observation unit Dun, we house inmates there who who's in mental crisis or just got out of the hospital or something that needs our observation because may there's so you would check them and then after that you would give insulin to the inmates so kami yung nagdudro bao uh, nasa loob sila ng ano ng ng cell which is locked na sila yung nag nag administer ng insulin by themselves and then after that uh, gagawin mo na uh, uh, gagawin mo na um triage so may tinatawag silang sick call uh sick call slip so that's where they write na I need to be seen by a nurse because I have flu, blah blah blah, or I have this itch, blah blah blah, mga ganon. So we we sorry. So we, we I see those people like the yung overnight nurse magagawa ng schedule ko si yung uh, ano namin. So there we have a room. Merong room bale room dito. Tapos dito may ano may officer. Lagi may officer sa labas. Tapos um <laughs> no medyo ano kasi general population yon that's where i started the general population so you get to uh mag, nandun kayo sa room pero walang naka-lock na door marami namang officers sa labas but then again yon yun nga dalawa lang kayo and then that's where you triage them kung kailangan ba silang refer sa doctor or hindi and then yeah tapos yon typically that's what what we do if you're a triage nurse for the whole day and then, kung may code naman, halimbawa, nagkaroon ng fight. There's a lot. Kasi yung, oh, kasi yung, yung ano ko, yung, uh, correct, yung pinuntahan ko na correctional, it's a maximum security. So, a lot of people that's in there is doing a lifetime, lifetime, lifetime sentence. So, nandun na sila for life. So, a lot of, even the littlest things, um they would freak out or mag, they would have a fight. I say, alam mo na. And yeah. when you when you handle them, are they in handcuffs? When you were in general population, no, they weren't. They're not in handcuffs. Because we have so we have two unit in there. The lo um nagwork ako sa general population. I, I actually three three yung meron don. You have a general population. You have um ano to parang meron na minimum security. And then the maximum security where you house the, how would I put it in the word, bad, bad of the baddest, something like that. Yung mga okay. some inmate that committed um, a crime while inside the prison. So you put them in detention unit. Yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na hole, yung mga ganon. So nag-work, nag-work ako dun sa three sites na yon. And then yung pinaka nagustuhan ko is yung hole where you house the baddest of the baddest. Kasi... <laughs> Kasi? <laughs> Kasi ako, it's a very... Ano, ano ba? I feel more safer with them. Kasi naka-handscuff sila ng, sa kamay at saka ng paa. Tapos meron ka pang officer. You, they won't leave you with an inmate without an officer. So, laging may officer. Sa li- nakasama sila, laging dalawa. So, they won't leave you in a room na kayong dalawa lang and they're always in handcuff 
and then sa paalip. So, parang I feel more safe kasi someone's always with me. I know. And then someone's always watching the camera. And pag sa general, wala nun. Diba? Pag sa Tama? general, wala. Wala kang laging kasama. Hmm. Yeah, may merong officer. Kung nas- nandun ka sa room, nandun din sila. And then you okay. walk with them. Pero yun nga, mas parang at uh, mas feel safe ako pag <laughs> meron sila lagi sa likod ko. So, yun. Yeah. I, I okay. like it there kasi... Um, Kasi most of the people na nasa detention unit, um, they're there for for quite some time. Yung iba, actually, mabilis lang yung, but a lot of them are gonna be there for quite some time. Meron silang separate na ano, trial for that. Meron na, yeah, I know, right? May, <laughs> may sino, meron silang separate trial and they're gonna do their time there sa detention unit for 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 a certain years. Some, some had to spend their uh, sa detention unit for seven years. For 10 years, up to 15 years. So you you get to build rapport with them. Because they're the same person. Like, you get to build rapport. Yeah. So, ang tagal. So, para makikilala mo na rin talaga sila, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh my God. Doon, they, kasi, di ba, wala silang, wala silang ibang ginagawa. Eh. So, they notice every little things. Like, oh, you got your hair cut. Oh, you got a new shoes. Oh, you got a new scrubs. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my God, kakaiba. <laughs> uh, <laughs> action. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really, ano ba? It's really very, very different from what we had at school, but it's very fulfilling. Because those are people that really have, I know, parang ano, kung baga wala na silang ano eh, wala na silang, um, wala, a lot of them wala na silang family. Yung parang they mm. don't have they don't have something to look forward to. And paning shift nun parang um eight hours, twelve hours, and pero din bang night shift yon? Yeah. So um dun sa pino dun sa ano ko dun sa kasi dun talaga ako before ako malas dun talaga ako na assigned sa hindi ang tawag nila detention unit. Um over there meron kami eight eight hour shift siya um from seven to three. 3 to 11, wala kaming overnight. Kasi parang isang building siya, pero, no, isang isang vicinity lang siya, pero ibang building lang. So, if they have any um, codes from the main building, from yung nurse sa main building, pupunta sila po. Pero dun sa main building, we have um, overnight. Uh, may mga funny moments ka ba sa work na yun, sa correctional? A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> You're not gonna believe, um, so, Kasi, when you work there, it's always a power struggle. You have to remember, ano sila, kasi a lot of them are diagnosed at the social. Um, yun nga, when you, um, ano, ba, ano pa ba? Marami. Actually, marami talaga ang anti-social. So, funny moments, kasi they're try to scare you. And ano lang ako, ano, ano bang high ko? Five to Asian. And I'm always smiling. I'm always happy. So, <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I they could ask me for anything. Like, you know, they will, of course. Yeah, a lot of them would try na, oh, hi, uh, don't talk to my, ano, anong yung isa nagsabi, parang, don't talk to my fiancé like that, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, shut up, I'm not. Because <laughs> um, you have to stand your ground. You have to, you have to, um, stand your ground with them and then make sure na may yung barrier na, patient um nurse relationship you have to emphasize parang ano parang tawag word emphasize emphasize with them na no you can call me that and then mm. i had one na would curse at me and then nagugulat sila if i would sometimes say it back to them na no you can do that to me mm-hmm. you can say those words and then we have over there um, one of the things na gusto ko lang is if someone is being good to you and they're alam mo yun, um they're being rude to you and being disrespectful, you have the right to say no. Unless you you fix that attitude, I'm I'm gonna be stepping out here. Jasmine, uh, let's talk about your other work, yung um support residential nurse. Dun, paano ka naman nakapasok dun? So um right Nung, when pandemic hits, kasi uh, a lot, may mga issues pa doon sa loob ng correctional na. Kasi hindi ka pwedeng, basta mar- maraming issues. So I decided to um, umalis na lang and then step 
step down ng as per DM. So naghanap pa actually yung yung company na na ngayon ngayon ko kaya ko na kaya ko nalaman yun kasi it's right outside my apartment <laughs> complex yung office nila. So I was like it would really be like a good idea if I would get hired here kasi <laughs> lalakarin ko lang. <laughs> Yung office nila. Yeah. Walking distance lang siya doon sa bahay ko, kaya ako nalaman yun. And then when I saw their posting, um, ayun nga, I got intrigued um, since I'm already doing site. And then, yun nga, a lot of people that they cater to is, has a site needs to. So, ayun. That's Nakita good. ko nga yun sa vlog mo eh. Yung parang may part na pumasok ka na sa office, sabi maglalakad ka lang, tapos pinutol mo na agad sa pintuan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ayun, ngayon. This, ayun, um, so, nag- uh, so, ngayon dito, meron akong, I, I have about 10 group homes that I handle. So, basically, um, those people na have developmental disabilities or, yeah, like, autism, all those things. Um, pag hindi na sila kayang um, alagaan ng parents nila, pumunta sila sa group home. Um, kasi yung group home na yun, usually may typical na, oo, ang tawag siya kanya group home, typically meron siyang four to five people um, at the house, meron silang, um, ang tawag nila program manager, parang house manager na nag-handle sa kanila, tapos meron silang um, mga staff na nagbibigay sa kanila ng gamot. So basically, ang work ko as a uh, support residential nurse. Ako yung nagtitrain sa staff. Halimbawa, kung, kung, kung paano magbigay ng gamot, oo, tas, halimbawa, um, coordinate din ang care nila kasi merong yung state may guidelines siya eh na may, meron siyang um, dapat by the age of 50 na kapag colonoscopy na sila, dapat yun ito. So, ako yung nag-oversee to make sure na na nagagawa yung mga bagay na yun. Wait, so, di ba, sabi mong pupunta sila sa um, group home na, di ba? So, teka, parang nakakalito. Um, e di parang sa group home na yun, marami silang nakatira na, parang residente na talaga sila doon. Oo, uh, yeah, yeah. Parang residente na sila, yeah. Uh, iba siya sa mga SNF, no? Or mga LTC, no? Yeah, Or hospice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ibang-iba. Kasi parang ang ginawa nila, parang instead of putting them in one building, parang ano nila, ang gusto nilang ma-achieve siguro yung at home pa rin. It's not like mm. you're, um, yeah, parang typical na bahay, typical na bahay na may nagmamanage ng finances, ng ano, tas may nag-aalala sa kanila, may nagluluto, may nagluluto for them. Pag hindi na nila kayong magmaligo mag-isa, may nag sa kanila. Okay. Which is very good actually kasi they they feel na ano na parang nasa bahay lang sila and a lot of the staff had been there uh, for for quite some time so they're like a family there. Wow. Alam mo ngayon ko lang nalaman niya na may ganyan din pala oh. dyan, no? <laughs> Parang hindi rin kasi na discuss siya sa mga um sa mga YouTube content and sa mga uh, Facebook groups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, hindi nga masyadong marami kasi yeah, hindi kasi masyadong marami yung ganung facility and so, what's your typical day at work sa group home? Parang from sa umpisa pala na shift mo? Yeah. So, typically, kasi yung ano namin, nag-start to me by 10, it's very, it's a very, very flexible job. So, typically, I start my day but between 9 and 10. So, doon na nag-start yung meeting. Halimbawa, may lalabas, let's say, um, may lalabas ka na pasyente, may pasyente na galing ng hospital. Typically, um, isi-send na sa amin yung discharge paperwork nila and then i-review ko kung yung medical needs pa niya meets the um the group home na kasi wala kami ang pwede lang ang um, wala kaming medical personnel sa ano eh wala kaming medical personnel sa group home meron lang kami mga staff tapos if they need some like wound dressing hindi hindi ako yung gagawa uh VNA visiting nurses yeah okay yeah. so yeah yun tapos and then some pag kalimbawa may 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 pasyente na nag-change ng diet or they they were having a hard time na swallowing i would train the staff kung paano yung tamang preparation yung mga thick and liquids yung mga nectar thick honey thick and then if they need a puree diet if they need a cut up diet so ako yung magte-train sa staff and then halimbawa nagkaroon sila ng medication error um ako din yung mag magpa-file sa, parang may fill up sila na form and then ako yung magpapasa sa states, mga gano'n. And then, meron ka pa isang work, no? Mm-hmm. So, ano naman siya, um, nag-work ako sa community health center. Um, nag-work ako as 
before yung unang work as COVID nurse, yun nga, nagbibigay ako. Um, usually, pumapasok ako doon three times a week. Um, I start by, uh, pumapasok ako doon ng, from 4, p- sorry, 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. <laughs> so, usually, yung schedule ko doon Monday, Tuesday, 4 to 8. And then, every Saturday, I work um, from 9 to 4. So, yun. I usually, ginagawa ko doon a lot like right now shots a lot of like covid vaccine shots grabe ang dami mong work <laughs> <laughs> kailangan eh <laughs> yeah yo but pero since i was able to do that kasi yung yun nga yung work ko dito as a support residential nurse it's very flexible and hindi ka hindi ka yung tipong patang pata na sobrang pagod ka na so you're not, it's not like you're running around, like you have to do all this stuff, like clean this, clean that, and give this, give that, in that. So I can plan my day, like let's say, kung may, mag-pick up ako dun sa other work ko, so I ha- I make sure na I start my day um, a bit late para hindi ako sobrang pagod. So yun lang, that's, the, that's a very good thing about it. That's why I was able to do that two jobs kasi they're very flexible. Ang ganda nun, na-mention mo yung mga yun, kasi parang here in the Philippines, parang everybody or most siguro are rooting for an, os- an hospital, no? So, ang dami talagang other um, options, no? Aside sa bedside. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, nag-try ako mag-bedside. I, I did dry bedside for, I lasted for two months. <laughs> Before, I, nag-ano ako, I, it was always, I think it's everybody, every nurse's dream to work in the hospital, mm. right? It's everyone's dream kasi you've, you've learned a lot, that's where you see everything na pinag-aralan mo sa school. So that's, that is what I was, um, that was my dream before. So nag, 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 nag-work ako sa support residential nurse and iniisip ko, i-give up tong, um, so, um, community health center para dun mm. sa hospital. But no, get, no, it's, it's very, um, hiring job. <laughs> Tama ba? <laughs> Dali ko yung bedside nursing. So, kasi nag-work ako, ang bali yung naging work ko doon overnight. Ang pla- dalawang, dalawang, mind you ha, dalawang araw lang sa isang linggo ako mag-work doon tas overnight. Kasi I was planning na late start doon sa full-time job ko. Hindi ko kinaya. I was very, I was always um, anxious. I was very, um, yeah, it was, was bad for me emotionally. Grabe totoo na kapagod talaga yung bedside kaya bili pa rin ako dun sa mga mga taong nasa bedside. Ah, salute to you bedside nurses kasi not a lot of people can do that. It, yes. it, you, you must have loved it to do it kasi you, you won't love it for the money kasi um honestly I they offered me less dun nung nag, nag-apply ako sa hospital compared dito sa community health oh. center. Talaga, it's, grabe. For the money. I had to, um, I had to, uh, to pay cut para nung in ko sila. Okay, grabe. Ang dami mo nang share sa amin. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse Jasmine, okay na ba pag-usapan natin yung um, salary sa tatlong work mo? Sure, sure. Um, actually, I want to share this with everyone. Um, nung, nung, nung first time na nag-work ako, Nakwento ko sa inyo, di ba, I was, I was offered a position fr- dun sa long-term care and then dun sa mm-hmm. um, correctional. The long-term care, they offered me like $5 less than the correctional. So, go to the market, mag- magpa-interview kayo kung saan. Um, maraming interview para ma, ano nyo, ma- makita nyo yung rate kasi malaki yung difference and sayang. It's about $5 difference. So, sayang. Mm. So, nung nag-work ako sa correctional, ang range nila is from $31 to $36 per hour. And then, may, may differential na pag overnight ata, it's about $4. Mga ganon. Pero, so, for new grads yan na rate? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. New grads, walang experience. Yeah. And then, well, yeah. And then, nung nag- transition na ako dito sa support residential nurse. Hindi ganun kalak, nasa ganun din yung range, nasa ganun din yung range. I didn't um actually nakipaghagal. <laughs> nakipaghagal pa. <laughs> Parang ang offer ni ko sa this amount and sabi ko, no, I don't I won't accept anything less than this. And then sabi nila, how about this? And so I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 ang nagturo sa akin yung husband ko. 
<laughs> sabi niya, why don't you hago? Na sabi niya, kasi dito is, they're very open na pag sinabi mo, pag sinabi nila, we can offer you this. No, I want a bit more. Mm. Yeah, yun. So, yung, yung support residential nurse, doon din nag-range. And then, nung nag, um, community health center ako, yung sa COVID, medyo malaki. Um, ang, ang, nakapag, as usual, nakapag-agag din ako doon. Um, ang range na is from 40 to 48. Wow, taas din nun, ha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's per DM, so wala kang, um, wala kang benefits. Pero pwede okay. na din kasi, hmm. di ba, parang ano lang naman siya, side job. So, Pero yun, sabi mo it. kanina, di ba, um, nag-hospital ka, and sabi Uh-oh. mo mas maliit pa yung offer ng hospital Uh-oh. compared dito, di ba? So yung, yung offer sa akin ng hospital nasa ganun din range from 31 oh, um 33 to 37 oh oh hindi nalalayo no sa correctional oh hindi nalalayo yes, dun yes. sa ano nila yeah kaya mas kaya yun pero maganda naman yung benefits nila and this is enough no to ano every month to pay the rent um the car loan insurance and everything Um, dito kasi kami sa ano, malapit kami sa Quincy, medyo mataas yung rent. Mm. So, if you're ano, if if you're by yourself and then nagre-rent ka, um medyo kalahati ng sahod mo mapupunta sa rent. Pero Aray. if you have someone with you, oo, para para kung nagre-rent ka ng one bedroom kasi ang rent dito is about um ano ba? 2,000 2,000 $2,000 to get what? Two bedroom? To get ano, uh, one bedroom. One bedroom. One mahal bedroom. pala. Grabe. Medyo mahal dito. O yan nga lang ang pano dito. Medyo mahal. Um, kung mag-isa ka lang. Pero kung may roommate ka naman ko. Kasi ang two bedroom dito right now binabayaran. Uh, ang two bedroom is two four. So kung meron kang uh, makukuha na roommate. Kung dalawa kayo. Mm-hmm. Hati na lang kayo. So mas mas magaan sa bulsa. Kesa mag one bedroom ka na. Ikaw, ikaw lang. Yun nga, yun lang yung drawback dito. Pag dito ka nakatira, medyo mahal. Pero kung, kung mag-ano ka naman, kung yung full-time mo, tapos meron pa per DM, yun. Kaya-kaya. Oh. Kaya. Jasmine, teka. Um, dyan sa Massachusetts, ano yung mga usually ginagawa nyo? Kunyari, on your day offs, ano yung mga pwedeng gawin? Ano, kasi since tatlo lang kami, so napakalim yung buhay namin na... <laughs> so... Nag-work ako from Monday to Saturday and then Sunday usually yan na yung oras ko para maggrocery, maglinis at saka magluto. Kasi what I do is I hindi ka hindi kasi yung yung family kami kasi hindi, we don't like eating outside because it's very expensive, it's very unhealthy. So I try to cook um like four meals a meal that would last us throughout the week para magiinit na lang kami. Because it's very hard when you're working and then after work, when you get out of work from, uh, by 9 o'clock, tapos magluluto ka pa. It's very hard. So what I do is I pre-prep like all the meals, niluluto ko na para mag, yung asawa ko hindi niya na problemahin pag, pag uh, mag- yung dinner time nila, tapos yung lunch time. So init na lang sila ng init. So typically, It's very rare na umaalis kami. We had to plan it and we had to take a day off if yeah, if we want to go somewhere. Grabe nakakatuwa kasi a year ago, pinaparod ko yung vlogs mo. Ganun yung ginagawa mo and hanggang ngayon, no? Ano ba yung ginagawa ko? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi uh, kailangan lalo mo dito. Oo, oh, oh, kailangan mo ng very, you have to have, you have, you have to be good at um, time management, especially pag may anak ka na. And then you both, you, you and husband are both working. I'm very lucky that my husband is working from home. Kasi siya na yung nag, nag-pick up sa daughter namin. Jasmine, para dun sa mga nurses na naghihintay pa rin ng mga um, PD nila or ID nila sa embassy, ano yung, ano, uh, ano yung tips mo para po dito nila sa state is, you know, mas prepared sila in clinical tsaka um, buhay Amerika? Yeah. So ano lang, once you get here, don't, Don't be scared. Like, and you started working. Don't be scared to ask questions. It doesn't matter if you look stupid. Uh, just have you just have to admit to yourself that you don't know it. It's better to look sp- stupid. Na kaano mo yung sa mga coworkers mo instead na magpaliwanag ka sa manager mo why you did what you did. Remember, yeah. 
kasi ako, when I first started, I I never care what other people would think. Oh, bakit siya nagtatanong sa akin ng ganito? I don't care. I care about my license. I care about the, <laughs> the people I'm taking care of. Um, if I don't know anything, I would say, I don't know how to do this. Speak, 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 speak. Don't be scared. Don't be scared na pagalitan ka. No. The, if you ask, eh, wala silang, wala silang karapatan na magalit sa'yo if you're asking questions. Yeah. So, don't be scared to ask questions. Don't be scared to look stupid at first or to look na wala kang alam because wala eh. I, I don't know about this. Yeah. And then, as you go along, matutunan mo rin. And then, ano lang, it's, ano, hang on kasi it's a very, ano, parang, um, it's very worth it. Very worth it in the end. I, I can tell you that. And there you have it, nurses. Jasmine, maraming salamat for making a contribution for us Filipino nurses uh, that are looking forward to migrate there. I'm sure and dami mong na-inspire sa story mo. Grabe, lalo na correctional nursing and yung other work mo. Um, thank you so much no, um, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's um I, I I'm always I'm always happy to share. Uh, I mean I'm I'm always um thankful that I get to inspire people na I I can help you guys kasi sino ba naman magtutulong ako hindi tayo tayo lang, diba? So ayun. Yun, if you a lot of people actually message me sa Facebook pag may questions sila, of course you can you can message me sa Facebook. Um uh, minsan lang medyo matagal ako mag-reply but I always <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, nurses, make sure to share this because I know a lot of people are um, not familiar about the correctional nursing. So please make sure to get that word out. Um, everyone, everyone, thank you for watching. And uh, Jasmine, again, maraming salamat. Nurses, thank you so much. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye.